Hello friends, my name is Dr. Piru Dawan, and today in this video, I'm going to tell you about the symptoms of kidney failure. It is a significant topic for everyone because when the kidney starts feeling it hardly gives any kind of symptoms, and when the kidney starts giving symptoms they are so general that it is hard for any patient or doctor to make a diagnosis on those symptoms. Today, let me explain in this video how you would recognize these symptoms. So, symptom number one is protein loss through urine. You may see this symptom even before the release of creatinine in the blood. A kidney patient may notice protein leakage through urine when the protein passes via urine, and you can recognize this when your urine becomes frothy and translucent. In any patient with kidney failure, creatinine levels increase beyond normal when the kidney gets damaged by around 30%. So protein loss is a symptom that can help a patient or in fact doctors to detect kidney fever in its early stages. When the body loses too much protein through urine, the blood becomes thin and the fluid present in the blood starts oozing out from the vessels and starts accumulating in the body cavity. And because of the cavity, all these foods start accumulating in the lower part of the body. It is usually around the ankles. And in this case, symptom number two can be observed which is edema accumulation of fluid in the lower body. Because of the same protein loss problem, your body has less amount of protein to produce sufficient amounts of hemoglobin. And that is why a patient suffers a deficiency of hemoglobin, which is called anemia. The third symptom of kidney failure. Protein is the body that not only helps in the formation of hemoglobin, it also helps in the formation of multiple enzymes and amino acids in the body. If the body doesn't have a sufficient amount of protein, all the production of essential amino acid enzymes also gets hampered. And because of deficiency of hemoglobin amino acids and enzymes in the body, your body starts feeling symptom number four, that is weakness and fatigue. Symptom number five. Create nine is the byproduct of muscle metabolism, and when the level of getting starts increasing in a patient with kidney failure, an increased level of create nine causes muscle fatigue and cramps in a patient. Sometimes in a patient with kidney failure, this increased level of create nine also causes skin itch and rashes. So you now know what kind of symptoms a kidney failure patient may face because of high create nine level. Now let's move to urea. But before moving towards high urea levels, it is very important for all kidney failure patients to understand where urea comes in our body. Urea is secreted by the liver. When the liver digests something during food metabolism, because the kidney is unable to exceed this extra amount of urea from the body the level of urea, and starts increasing urea as a nitrogenous waste, which causes multiple problems in your body. The most common symptom because of urea is loss of appetite. When the level of urea increases in a body, it hampers the functioning of the brain. Patients may feel a loss of appetite, vomiting, nausea, etc. Urea also causes a metallic taste. The patient may feel like something metallic like iron is in their mouth. The breath of the patient also becomes stinky. It smells like rotten fish. And all other symptoms like weakness, muscle cramps, nausea, vomiting are very general. So, it makes it very difficult for a patient or doctor to make a diagnosis of kidney failure based on the symptoms. Now, if a patient with kidney failure wants to decrease the level of creatinine or urea, one has to work on the functioning of the kidney because the kidney is the only organ that can secret all this waste world out of the body. Once the kidneys start improving their function, the level of creatinine and urea starts decreasing as a level of this waste will decrease in the body. Symptoms caused by this smell also goes away and the life of the patient becomes better. Now the question arises of how we can increase the functioning of the kidney in a kidney failure patient. One can improve the functioning of the kidney by working on it. Let me tell you a few simple steps. First is to remove the cause of kidney failure. In most of the patients with kidney failure, the major root cause is either high BP or high sugar levels. If the level of BP or sugar remains high in kidney failure patient, it causes further damage to the kidney and create nine and urea kept increasing. So first we have to remove the root cause of kidney failure and that is high blood pressure or sugar. Once the root cause of kidney failure comes in the control, we can say that there will be no further damage to the kidney and the level of create nine and urea will remain in a static range. In step number two, we have to improve the functioning of the kidney, but now the question arises, 
does the kidney have that kind of capabilities to improve its functions? The answer is yes. If we take an example of a person who has donated one kidney to another patient, even after having a single kidney, the level of creatinine and urea does not increase in that patient. Note to ask the question to yourself, why does this happen even after losing one kidney, the filtration power of the body goes down by 50%, but his kidney increases its filtration capabilities. That's why the level of creatinine and urea doesn't increase in that person. Now we have to use this superpower of kidney in each and every patient with kidney failure. Now let's take an example of the level of creatinine in a patient with kidney failure is 4 mg dl, which means the kidney has lost its function of filtration by almost 60%, which means the kidney now is working with the efficiency of 40%. If we work on the functioning of the kidney, and this 40% works better, and it increases the efficiency to filter blood levels of creatinine, and urea will decrease. So with the help of kidney function restoration treatment, which I have explained to you already, we can increase the functioning of the kidney. Let me show you a few reports of my patients, as you can see the level of creatinine and urea decreased drastically. In a short period of time, this is the power of kidney function restoration treatment. Now let's move to step number three. Once the levels of creatinine and urea are reduced, it's very important to maintain that level because kidney failure disease is a self-progressive disorder in which we usually see that even after taking all kinds of treatment, the level of creatinine and urea keeps increasing. So here you need to take care of your blood pressure and blood sugar levels. You need to keep them in control as we discussed earlier. No, I hope you have understood what are the symptoms of kidney failure and why they originate and how we can decrease the level of kidney in urea any kidney failure patient. If you have any kind of doubt query regarding kidney function restoration and treatment, you can simply call our doctors or drop a mail on the ID given below. Our expert doctors will help you to combat this deadly disease with this. Now, let me say goodbye. See you in the next video.